Glad to have you back. Um, now, before we go to the sports segment, we have Samuel Ducato standing by for entertainment gist. Good morning, Samuel. Good thank morning, you. Margaret. How are you doing? I'm fine, Good thank morning. you. Samson, how are you doing? I'm all right. All right. Hello and welcome to Entertainment Gist. Here are the stories. George Deha, the alleged partner of the late Nollywood actress Ada Ame, has finally broken his silence. Digger took to his Instagram page on Tuesday, July 19, 2022, where he eulogized the late movie star. How my world crumbled before me. I have lost you. You were my friend, partner, and soulmate. I feel lost and alone. I do not know what to do, he wrote. It is a never-ending nightmare of pain for me, like a nail being drilled into my heart, aches and pulled out. I know I will never get over your death. Somehow, I have to get through it. This grief is indescribable. Ahmed died on Sunday, July 17, 2022, at the age of 48. According to several reports, the actress was said to have been a guest of an oil company's top shot and his family when she sold in Islam during a gathering. She was reportedly rushed to the NNPC hospital in Warri, Delta State, where she was confirmed dead. It would be recalled that a few weeks ago, the actress revealed that she was going through some mental health issues. The movie star lost her only child back in 2020 after a surgery gone wrong. Ame is one of the most popular actors in Nollywood with a career spanning over two decades. She first rose to stardom in the 1996 hit movie Domitila. Ame is also popular for her character Emu in the hit TV drama series The Johnsons. Well, this is really a touching story, very empathetic indeed. You know, considering the fact that you've been with someone whom you love so much and now looking at the fact that she's no longer there. It's really, really devastating. I don't know what your reactions are, but let me start with you first, Samson. What do you think, or what's your feel about this? Well, I think it's sad. Um, it's, it's definitely a loss for anyone, you know, I'm associated with her, either as a friend or family. You don't want to lose your loved ones, regardless of the circumstance, especially for someone like her who has been through a lot over the last two, three years. I sure. mean, um, it, beyond the mental health issues, the loss of our only child, uh, relatives as well, that would definitely break someone down. So um, I can understand where, you know, um, our alleged lover is coming from, talking about the grief being um, indescribable and all of that. I just hope he gets solace as well because you, no one wants to go through that part where you have a loved one who has suffered losses and battled with mental health issues or health issues and at the end of the day, Finally, you, you know, that. just um, goes untimely in that sure. sense. So um, you just hope that both he and the family um, gets, you know, okay, the you needed comfort that they need at this time. That's true. You know, Ada Ahmed's death is one of the many deaths that um, has happened and um, for mental health issue. Now, this happened because probably a lot of people are hearing about it because she is popular. But we have yes. a lot of people also mm -hmm. who are going through the same mental health issues that no, have also died and nobody has come to hear about it. So it, it's sad losing a loved one, but it's, it's um, I don't know the word to use, but it's more sad that it had to be this way after losing a daughter, after losing three. Your only child. I said only child. Before then, she had lost, three, she had buried seven, seven family yeah. members. Wow then her daughter, and then she managed to put smiles on our faces with her character, Emma the Johnson. I love that series a lot. So it, it's a sad one. And well, people really may not be able to get over the love, the death of their loved ones. And we can't tell people how to grieve. So people should be allowed to grieve the way. But then there should be more mental health awareness. This should be one of the things that will make people understand that when someone says or says that my mental health is threatened or I'm going to mental health issues, not something to laugh about, not something to think mm -hmm. he or she just trying to quit fun. But mm -hmm. people may do that for fun but I don't think anyone who is saying want to do that for fun a lot of things are happening in Nigeria that make people almost go crazy so the least we can do is to be there for each it's other together. if you can help them then don't add to it leave them alone that's and true. that's it that's true that's true so let's just move ahead you know for the sake of time now the second story says former Big Brother Niger housemate Afe has threatened to beat up media personality Nobu Igwe the winner of the second season of the reality TV show made this known in his latest single, which he dedicated to the social media influencer. In some of the lyrics, he described Igwe as a migget and a Mr. Man wife. Hmm, that's funny. In his response, the media personality took a swipe at the reality TV star turned rapper. 
I am glad if he's trying to use me as a stick, stick start, kick start a career in music. I'm only wondering if this is the actual song or the intro. I'm going to be tweeting about him daily starting from today, he tweeted. Afe is the only winner of the BBN whose career never took off. Nollywood couldn't even offer him a role. Comedians didn't see him useful enough for his skit. How can you be a winner yet so uninspiring? That's a big question. If he countered Igwe's claim, insisting that he gave the organizer the reality TV show reasons why he couldn't show up for the show. He alleged that Igwe has been bullying him on social media for years without any concrete reason. It is, however, not clear how and where the rift between Igwe and Efe began. Efe Ejiba was the winner of the second season of the reality TV show Themed Seagobe. I mean, this is really interesting, but it's somewhat embarrassing for two you know, popular figures, so to speak, coming on air or on social media, washing their dirty linen, uh, I mean, in well, public. People, I don't know how that looks. People are <laughs> entitled to what they post on social media. Well, it, anybody would, well, before we go, but I feel before we go have, forward, you know, yeah, well, I agree with you. They should have handled it. But before we go forward, let's, let's just listen to the song quickly. Okay. We'll All be right. right back. All right. It was once I thought from around the way My life was never easy My life was never easy Uh, fuck me politically correct, sure you get the jack This is hip hop and I hope y'all niggas didn't forget Dropping body bags for goodie bags with no regrets Mind education for them dumb niggas to go reflex Slavery in these ages, this is matrix in its full effect Black Mexican validations with them chains around the neck I do this with ease, I preach, don't need to break a sweat I pray for my kids, I plead so they could come correct Somebody tell that me that guy, I'm be Twitter guy This is real life, if I see you, I will beat you guy Bitch ass nigga I know we leak with it's the man wife. Man this is the closest you can be to fail your whole life. Body less every time. Now we did take the fault. Got it cost a shower course with the mango chop. In case you're wondering why I rap, I do this for my people. Go the yaga, Allah, don't she naked, they your bunny eco. Easy. My life was never easy. Oh, well, he called him immediate. Well, uh, that was that's a funny one there. But uh, like I was saying before the song came up, people are entitled to what they want to post on the social media. I can decide to come and um, throw jabs at something on my social media page. Well, it's still going to be my choice. But the thing is that, well, there should have been a way. Let's not forget that people also do some things for clout. So while you are saying... Um, they shouldn't have come on social media. Probably the social media, we would know normally way if there was no social media actually. Or we would know if there was no social media actually. Maybe they would have, or we would have to fight their way through it. And many other celebrities we would really have known them if not for the help of social media that helps um, advance their works. Nobody may really have known them. So social media is a tool. So this could, for you, it may seem like it's unnecessary, but for them, it could be a publicity stunt that would get them endorsement. So we never can say, but then, if he, personally, I, I don't think that was necessary, especially if you want to do a song, do a song, and don't, you don't have to throw, do a song, take all the time, write a song for somebody just to throw jab at the person. I, I, I felt he had better things to do. All right, I think that's your opinion, okay? Well, it depends on how you look at it. You know, it's music, it's hip hop, it's rap. With hip hop comes, you know, the whole beef of a thing. It started way before this time. You've had um, Tupac and Biggie at some point. You know, there's Kendrick Lamar. You've had different people come up with um, these tracks. So, um, if you doing that line as well, I'm not surprised. Um, he probably has an unsettled business with you know, um, Noble, Noble Igwe, and he decides to just respond via his music. Having said that, there's also the place, as Margaret has said, that it was done for 
you know, cloud publicity stunt, whatever you want to call it. Remember, um, there was a story going viral at some point that, um, you know, Jim Ike, you know, beat up a blogger and all of that. Yeah, yeah. And then later on, we got to know the government blogger got paid four million naira. I knew from the slap. onset that it was it was a stunt. So it's it's the, it doesn't really seem real. Come and slap me and pay you know, me that kind of amount, at the time. You know? the, 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 um, assholes was simply just to promote Jamaica's movie at the time. So you never can tell with the entertainment industry yeah. what mm. is done for either a publicity stunt sure. or a clout, sure. or sure. it's actually a real beef. But as I said, be it publicity stunt or beef, um, these things come with the terrain. As I said, in hip hop, you have this tracks, and that's just one of it. Um, Noble Ego is also firing shots back. Let's see how this ends. All right now. <laughs> Okay, let's move on. Um, the track story says Nollywood actress in Kechi Blessing has slammed critics of celebrities who have decided to join the Nigerian political scene. In a, in a video making rounds on the internet, Blessing tagged those mocking her colleagues for joining politics as hypocrites. Well, according to her, whenever a tragedy happens in any part of the country, Nigeria usually call on celebrities to lend their voices to the situation. She said that although celebrities are no longer merely lending their voices, but also getting active in politics, many Nigerians are mocking them for the move. The actress said, some of you Nigerians are hypocrites. If anything goes wrong in the country, maybe it is a case of kidnap or killing, you all will be clamoring. Where is our celebrities? They are not talking now. They are paid. They are, they've all been paid. Blah, blah, blah. Okay? The actress further stated that she is super proud of her colleagues joining politics, especially women contesting as deputy governors. Entertainers joining the political train include singer Oluban Kole Wellington, actresses Tuntu DK, Funke Akindele, and Caroline Danjima. I think that's all. So um, what do you guys um, have to say concerning um, this particular story? Anybody can join politics mm -hmm. if you're a law-abiding citizen of Nigeria without criminal records. But even people who have criminal records are contesting for presidential seats and governorship, you know. Mm -hmm. And anybody can join politics. You can try to be a politician today. It doesn't matter if you're a celebrity or not. And the thing is, when people say that um, politics is a, date, is a dirty game, I don't want to be part of it. We, we say pastors and imams shouldn't be part of politics because it's dirty. You want to change the status quo, I don't think you can change it from outside. So there's a popular opinion that when you're inside, you may be infiltrated with corruption, but then you may not also be infiltrated. So you don't want to change everything. How do you want to change it from outside or to stay and talk? And Anybody can decide to join a political movement. But the problem is when you know that this uh, system is corrupt and you're doing nothing about it and you're already sitting back and say, I don't want to join, I don't want to be anything, I just want to sit back and complain and complain. That is, that way, that's where the problem is. So anybody, celebrities are also human beings. I think people forget that these people, they're humans like you and I, they don't have nine lives, they don't have two heads, they breathe the same air we breathe and, you know, breathe out the same air we breathe out. So it's not like they have any super ability. They are just privileged to be more popular than you and I for now. But these people are human beings. They have emotions. They have feelings. They have wants and needs. They can want to be pastors, politicians, teachers, even criminals. So the fact that they are not different from any human being is what most people have failed to understand. So celebrities should be allowed to breathe and do what they want to do because they are also humans like yes, us. Yes, I think so too. But at the same time, so I'm coming back at yep. you now, Samson, but I feel some people or some persons feel that they should at least maintain their lane or their field. You can't as, maintain your lane. You as, can't, uh, you know, actresses. Interestingly, you, you can't tell me, Charles, because I'm a broadcaster, I shouldn't own a, a food shop that I would own. Or because I'm a broadcaster, I should do just broadcasting. And you can that's the thing. You want to dictate their lives. You should maintain your lane as actresses. We'll give, we'll give you the right to tell them what to do and how to live their life. That's the problem that Nigerians have. And they just forget that people have the right to do whatever they want to do, actually. Yeah, you're right. Th there's nothing wrong with exactly. actors or actresses, you know, g going yeah. into politics. As a matter of fact, you call for people who have, um, you know, shown uh, a bit of, um, you know, leadership. leadership in their various fields to delve into political Let's positions. So um, I'm quite surprised that, you know, you still have people blasting or lambasting the, these actresses or actors who have decided to go into politics. Again, let's look at it. In St. Climes, these things happen. So if we talk about other oh, utopia we want, why are we now 
um, judging based on you know the dystopia we're in that actresses or actors can't be involved in politics. The United States, for example, Pres is seen as I'll you know see. the beacon of um, democratic ideals. Now that's a country whose um, you know best Republican president or most popular as aware over the last century, mm -hmm. probably since its existence, was an actor before Ronald yeah. Reagan was an actor before you know he delved into politics and he served two terms as president from eighty one to eighty nine. So. For all of these, you know, talks of um, actors or actresses can't get, those things are ridiculous. In same climes, the same European countries we look forward to, Americas and what have you, we've seen actors, actresses, even musicians mm -hmm. delve into that. I mean, Trump was what? Hello? <laughs> he was, he was <laughs> an entertainer, yeah? You know, he, he had um, be beauty, beauty pageants, he yeah. had different things, you know, um, comedies and all. And he became president. So there's really nothing wrong with actors or actresses going into politics. The only issue is... Are they capable enough? If they've shown that they are professionals, they've shown leaders, um, leadership and a bit of yeah. success within their fields, why not? They should delve into it. All right. Um, your contributions and um, reactions are well taken and well appreciated. And that's it on Entertainment Gist. Others are many thanks for watching. I am Samuel Okata.